I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Career Organics. In this video, we will see one of the important information that is um, job opportunities in agriculture and the horticulture and allied sectors. So, this video has been asked by many of the students, uh, those who are selected for BS Agriculture or MSc Agriculture or related courses, and even for PhD also. Uh, with regard to this, we can split agriculture jobs into uh, different categories. One is you can go to government sector, another one is you can go to private sector, another one is a research scholar. That is a research scholar means uh, you will be working under the scientist or the professors, those who are doing research and you have to conduct some trials and lab experiments like that and you have to publish the data. Uh, so these are the different uh, sectors that are available for uh, job opportunities in agriculture or knowledge sectors. Next you are having the foreign job opportunities also. So before going to our uh, video, if you are new to our channel, you can subscribe our channel. Our channel videos will be very useful to you uh, for your future development and everything. So with regard to the subject or uh, job opportunities like that, so you can subscribe to our channel. First with regard to this um, job opportunities, we will consider BSA Agriculture, BSA Horticulture uh, related courses. So first you can go to uh, some agriculture related jobs. So these agriculture related jobs will be one is agriculture officer and the next is horticultural officers for uh, horticulture graduate, agriculture officer for agriculture graduate. This agriculture officer or horticulture officer like this job opportunity sir, it will be given by the State Public Service Commission. For example, in Tamil Nadu, Tamil Nadu Public Service Commission is there, Maharashtra Public Service Commission is there, Telangana State Public Service Commission is there. Like that, different uh, states will have a different Public Service Commission examination. So, in that, you will get the term AO or HO confer. It may be once in two to three years, or it will come for five to six years in some states. In some states, it will be called for the once in every year like that it will be but the job opportunity will be like that in government sector if you want to enter into state government with related to agriculture means this is the one of the option next with regard to this is another that is what i told already is AOHO is permanent if you get promotion there will be promotion for ADI, ADH like that. Now some direct recruitments also there, it's uh, going on on process for AD and ADH. Uh, next with regard to this, uh, if you want to enter into the state government but for the temporary post means uh, there will be some block technology manager like that some post will be there and you have to work on that. For that you have to approach your nearby AO office or block development office or articulator office like that if there is any vacancy they may give they may give the notification also for that for example there are many schemes such as uh, millet improvement uh, schemes or pulse national mission for uh, oil seeds something many missions are there so in that uh, missions for food security like that so in that missions you have to work and uh, you have to popularize the variety or enrich the variety like that you have to do something so for that also job opportunities is there next to regard to that atma scheme like that many schemes are there for that you, that notification or that uh, job offer will be given by the particular uh, district or a particular block uh, regional level so you have to concentrate on that also if you want to go to job related to that next with regard to this um, bank sector so with regarding to this uh, banking sector uh, ibbs will conduct the exam that is agriculture field officer once in every year that um, agriculture field officer exam it will consist of the prelims and the mains related to that so it will be entirely covered by ibbs only another sector is private sector in private sector there are uh, more opportunities for uh, agriculture graduates but the problem here is uh, salary salary will be if you complete a bsc agriculture or horticulture in in some companies at starting salary you can get only 20 or 25,000 and they will give some HRA and for petrol allowance like that. 99% they will not prefer female candidates. It may be in any private companies. I, I will tell this frankly because you have to do marketing jobs. You have to roam daily 100 to 200 kilometers like that. That is two in bike. You have to approach the farmers or you have to approach the fertilizer dealers, pesticide dealers like that. So in with regard to this uh, private job opportunity there are good job opportunities are there in agriculture then if you complete your msc agriculture especially with related to agronomy or with the agricultural chemicals oil science 
next to the regard to entomology pathology means you will get some good job opportunities in chemical companies such as the Syngenta or some Monsanto like that next to with regard to the seed companies if you do your MSc or PhD in breeding next to seed science and technology you can get good job opportunities in seed companies also so these are the some of the ways but if you complete your PG, uh, then your salary will be somewhat uh, good, uh, 30 to 35, including your uh, petrol allowance, everything. But if you complete your UG agree, then your salary will be less only. In starting, it will be in 20 to 25, and then there will be the more uh, physical stress will be there. We have to take off that one. Next, we will be consider another one job opportunity that is a young professional or JRF. ISER has changed that name to. Your YP that is young professional one and young professional two. If you are agriculture that is UG candidate, if you have completed your BS agriculture or horticulture or any other agriculture related uh, UG courses, then you can be able to join young professional that is uh, they will call by the name YP one. If you complete your MSc or PhD, they will call by another name that is YP two, young professional two. Uh, even earlier it was called by the name JRF Junior Research Fellowship and. Uh, fellow and the SRF senior research fellow but now they have changed that term we have to consider this one but in every state university state agriculture university they are still using the name JRF and SRF only that is general information that you want you want to do for this um, YP1 that is um, it will be conferred by every agriculture universities or uh, agriculture institutes it depends on the project or number of the projects they are having number of schemes they are having like that so that notification will be given by every institute or state agriculture universities website you have to go to that one and you have to see in the notifications if they have given notification with related to your subject especially with related to bs agriculture or horticulture or msc agronomy or um, msc seed science and technology like that then you can have then you can catch that and you can go for that interview and uh, there will be somewhat a uh, written test that is for 20 to 30 marks and uh, followed by there will be interview and if there are only some minimum persons came for that uh, interview then surely they may select you like this so many opportunities are there but you have to utilize that opportunities next with related to this YP salary for junior research fellowship it will be 25,000 and 22 25,000 that is YP1 and for senior research fellow that is SR of YP2 that the salary will be minimum 30 to 35,000 so there will be the difference of 10,000 rupee between UG graduate and between PG graduate so these are the information with regard to chair of SRF or YP1 and YP2. Next with regard to this um, another job opportunity you can prepare for uh, state government uh, examination that is public service commission examinations, group 1 examination, group 2 examinations like that and uh, for the UPSA also you can prefer and uh, next with regard to this uh, there are different boards in agriculture such as central silk board or coffee board or rubber board or with regard to forestry so like this many job opportunities are there many boards are there they will also give notification with regard to this next is uh, ERS agriculture research scientist for this uh, till now the qualification is uh, only MSc agriculture but surely this year they will change it to PhD agriculture next um, in that you have to there will be specific uh, such as agronomy or seed science or uh, plant pathology like that and you have to do MSc in that and you then you have to do PhD in that and you have to already qualified uh, in it and uh, finally they will give <laughs> this one so you have to attend the prelims next mains return and then you have to go for interview and they will select they will give the selection list so these are the some of the information related to this ERS next another information is um, teaching line if you complete your MSc or PhD there are a uh, number of private colleges uh, in Tamil Nadu even in some other states such as Maharashtra for that the qualification will be MSc and at that time you have to clear the net some colleges may consider without net also for that also if you are not qualified your net then the salary will be 25 to 30,000 or if you have qualified your net surely the salary will be 5,000 more than net not qualified students so you can get that one if you have completed your PhD in some of the universities some private universities are there they are giving for PhD net qualified candidates, 60 to 70,000 rupees salary per month. So these are the some of the job opportunities for postgraduate agriculture students. But with regard to UG agriculture, horticulture related subject or UG students, so the job opportunities you have to divide. That is, you are going to government sector or private sector, then you are going to 
PG level, this post graduate level. Here itself you have to select that one. When you have joined your uh, UG, you cannot get an idea now. But after completing you two years, that is after going to your third year, you can get one opportunity with regard to this. And finally, you can see whether uh, you can be able to work in government sector or private sector or you want to go to any postgraduate studies or you want to go to abroad for postgraduate studies or a job. Like this, uh, you have to quantify or uh, you have to create an idea by yourself and then you have to plan for that one so from the third year onwards you can plan for that one so before that you have to learn subject uh, deep very well mm -hmm. you have to consider your subjects and you prepare for that one after going to your third year surely you can prepare for this one so i hope this video will be very, very useful to you so this is uh, wednesday so today is wednesday i am giving this video so next day we will meet on Sunday with some other good video. As um, I told uh, earlier, we will have only one or two videos per week with uh, this kind of uh, somewhat uh, good information. So, we have to consider everything and you have to plan accordingly. Thank you.